Hello there, my name is Bryce, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rode NTG2. Okay, so a little bit more about this. This is a shotgun mic, and it's made by Rode, obviously, and this is not what you're listening to me now. You're listening to me through the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro, which is sitting on top of my camera right now. So I'll switch over to this right now. As you can hear, it sounds a lot better for uh, the situation. So that one, there's a lot of echo, while this one, it's a lot more direct, which is the entire point of a uh, shotgun mic. It has a very direct uh, cone of where it picks up sound, while the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro obviously uh, picks it up from everywhere. So you can be on the other side of it and it sound almost just as good as it would if you're on this side of it. Okay, so I know the main thing you're here for is some audio test. So let's go do that first thing in the video and later in the video I'll get to describing it, saying some of the specifications if you want to stay till then. So let's go outside, let's just walk around my house and see how it sounds. Be right back. Okay, so I'm now here in the kitchen. I You can probably hear my doll walking around in the background. But you're listening to me through this, and this is a little bigger space, so you can probably hear a little bit more echo, but this is it, what, maybe two or three inches away from my mouth. It's not turned up that high, but it sounds great, and um, I have it also on a shock mount now, so you won't get all the vibrations from my hand, or quite as many at least. And you can hear it. You can hear it. There, I, just, I can hear a dog. There's uh, my sink stripping right there. You might be able to hear all that, but with the shotgun mic, you might not be able to. So I'm not exactly sure how it sounds now, but I hope it sounds good to you. And I'll do a test in a second with it a little further away from me. Okay, so now I have the mic probably about a foot and a half away from my uh, face. And that's around normally where it would be. So I have it about there, and it's not turned up quite as loud as it normally would be from this distance. But you should be able to hear me just fine. And I'm, I am talking a little louder now, but you should be able to hear me just fine, and it sounds great, or at least it should. Okay, so now for the final test. We are outside, and it's a little sunny. The sun's about to peek out of the clouds, but you can hear the, um, like, you might be able to hear that sound behind me. You can definitely probably hear the air conditioning back there, but if I switch to the camera real quick, you can see it's doing an amazing job of canceling out all that stuff. So now this, uh, we're also going to do a better distance test than I just did. So I have it set up on this thing right here. It's on the shock mount and everything. So I'm maybe about a foot and three inches or something away from it right now. Now let me back up a little more. And uh, I am probably about two, three feet away from it now. Maybe a little more. And you should be able to hear me. And it's a little lower and it's not really the highest you can go. But if I go any higher than this, it sort of starts to get in the range of kind of not sounding too great. So let me back up a little more. This is probably 10 feet, 10 feet away from it. And you may not even be able to hear me anymore. But everything sounds great, I guess. I can't really tell right now. Let me back up a little more. I am talking a little louder now so you can hear me. But this is like this is an extreme range and you shouldn't really be able to hear me too good so let me come back up to here get a little closer so you can hear my actual voice and hear how this thing sounds okay so the sun just decided to come out so it's starting to get a little bright so but I hope you found this um, testing uh, helpful I guess and that you can decide now if you want to get this mic or you don't or if you're just playing around looking for something that you might get eventually that you really uh, enjoyed this video so now let's go back into my room and go down to the desk so we can take a little closer look at this thing you've been looking at this entire time but not really too greatly okay so now that you've seen the audio test of this let's uh, take a closer look at the thing so it's not too sm uh, small but it's also not extremely big if you can see the size of my hand I have a pretty big hand so it's a maybe a foot but probably about a measuring stick if you want to compare it to that uh, I have the box here for it this comes in a pretty standard uh, box 
It also comes with a carrying case, but I've never really used that. And it also comes with this wind um, foam thing. I don't remember the name of it. But um, it helps a lot. I keep it on there 90% of the time. If you looked in the video, it was on it at all times. I take it off inside sometimes. But this is my main microphone that I've used for past year and a half, two years maybe. And it's been a great microphone, extremely reliable. It is powered by either batteries or even um, phantom power. So if you want to do that, it works with that. Okay, so now let's go look at some of the specifications of this thing. Okay, so if you're the specification type of guy, let's go look at some of those. So it has a super cardioid uh, polar pattern. It is a condenser transducer mic in it. It has a fre frequency response of 20 hertz to tw uh, 20 kilohertz, so a pretty big range. It has negative 36 dB um, sensitivity, 1 volt slash Pascal. You can go look all this stuff up because I don't really know what most of this means. It has a signal to noise ratio of 76 decibels and a maximum input level of 131 decibels, so that's pretty high. And it has great reviews, and I'm giving it a great review because it's a very reliable microphone, and it can be used with so many different things. It's extremely versatile. It's uh, Rode, and all, all the stuff I've ever had from Rode is fairly good. Uh, even what I'm recording this on right now is Rode. I normally record my voiceovers with um, this thing right here, but I can't really because I'm showing it to you. So let's just show you a little. It has the grill. It has the... Um, in grill you can't really see that but it has an in grill it has an xlr cable in the back it has um you might be able to see it has a high pass and high, uh high pass filter on it and then just nothing and you just have to get um a paper clip or something to get it in there uh this unscrews right here you can hear my dog getting up this unscrews right here to let out the battery i'll show you Kind of a janky setup right now because I don't have my normal setup that I use. So you just you just unscrew that and it has the battery come out and it slides back in. Or you can just use 48 kilohertz of um whatever on phantom power just to do it. So if you enjoyed this video and this quick little thing, and you would like to see more in the future, subscribe. And if you just enjoyed this video but you don't really want to subscribe. Just go down to the like button, hit that, comment if you would like, if you want, uh, if you want to criticize me or make fun of how bad my videos is, are, um, go leave a comment and I'll see you next time. So, good luck with whatever you're doing in life and goodbye.